Hello, freak bitches. You know, I, I didn't know you used to fight until after the last time I did the podcast. I just thought you got it worked out a lot and just really liked mixed martial arts and combat. Well, I never fought in mixed martial arts because well, I wasn't around. But uh, kickboxing. Though. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, because I remember just seeing some somebody say, yo, you talking about Rogan like that? He'll kick you in your shit. And I'm like, what? And then I looked up Rogan kickboxing. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> it was she was just kicking the shit out of her back. Yeah. Yeah. How'd that feel, man? To hit somebody? Feels weird. The bag. Oh, bag's easy. Yeah. Bags don't hit back. When was the last time you hit somebody? In in anger? Or in competition? It's been a long fucking time. In anger, neither, neither one. Neither That's one? even longer. Yeah, Ang- in anger is probably a high school. Oh but shit! But in competition, it's, uh, when I was twenty-two or something like that, that was a Taekwondo tournament. I was nineteen then. Oh, and that was you. Yeah, with that the was walk me. off. That was me with the walk with the- off. <laughs> <laughs> if you kick somebody to the body like that, a spinning back kick to the body, so you much force. You got all the bulletproof though. Doesn't matter. That thing. That's just moral protection. Oh that's man, that's not helping you. So. What was your at that moment when you saw him laying down? He's you, dead. I knew he was gone. But I'm mean, not dead. I mean, you know, were you not, thinking, damn, he's not getting up? Oh, uh, was it more like, yeah? You have to walk away and like make it look like it's no big deal. That right. was how my thought process was. Mm-hmm. Don't get excited. Make it look like this is what I'm going to do to everybody. Just relax. Just walk off and and have everybody so nervous that you don't even care. Like this is just a normal thing for you. You kick people. They go unconscious. They fall down. They can't get up. That, that you gotta have the people because you're in a tournament, so you're right. gonna be fighting a bunch oh, of people and, that are sitting around and they're watching. watching. <clears throat> yeah, you might have to fight three or four times in a day. Who was there rooting for you? Just my teammates, guys yeah. that I train with. Yeah, yeah. Nice, weird. Huh? It doesn't even seem like even when I watch that, it doesn't really feel like me. So long ago, just the hair. Well, not only that. I mean, I also have a head protector on the back of my head. They would wear these uh, head protectors. Either you could wear a full one that covers your whole head, like over your ears, or you wear one that's just the back of your head, which is really just there so when you get knocked out, your head doesn't fucking bounce off the ground. Yeah. Because we were fighting on a basketball court. If you look at that, that's just the wood floor. Shit. Yeah, there's a lot of that. We fought on a hockey rink once where they put a plastic sheet down on a hockey rink. So it was uh, not the ice, but the cement underneath the hockey rink. So we were basically fighting on cement. So the 80s were terrible as well. <laughs> Fucking <said>. awful. <laughs> Bad for brain damage, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> a lot of people got fucked up, knocked out, and bounced their head off the ground. Jesus. I saw a lot of that. Yeah. Not good. And for no money. That's the thing. There's no Just future. The, no future and no money. For the love of the game. The well... Love. I guess it prepares you for life, and also you wanted to find out. I wanted to find out how I would do, you know? I wanted to find out what it would be like to compete under high-stress situations, like worrying about someone kicking you in the face. Yeah. I'm I'm glad I, most people can't kick somebody in the face, so I'm glad. <laughs> That's whenever I go to a UFC fight or MMA, I just... Whenever somebody gets kicked in the face, I'm like, man, if I got kicked in the face, I'd be so disappointed. <laughs> like, oh, it's I, not good. It's not. It looks. It looks crazy. Yeah, it's terrible for you. The the thing is, more people can kick people in the face now than I think at any other time in human history. I think there's a lot of fucking people that can kick people in the face now because of watching MMA and, and the taking classes and yeah. training. I think more people are training now than than ever before. For sure, there's way more people that can strangle people than ever. Oh, yeah. 100%. Because the choke is easier to learn? No, it's just more people are doing jujitsu than any other time in history. Like before, like in my early martial arts days, there was no one that was doing grappling, really. Like, I wrestled in high school, and then there was no, like, jujitsu classes. There was, like, you could take judo, like, there was judo, but there was very few, like, actual, like, submission grappling schools or anything like that. Even nationwide, there was a small handful. Nobody knew what the fuck they were doing. Now, yeah. everywhere you look, there's a jujitsu school. Yeah. Like, I was down in San Diego, just San Diego alone, which is not a big city. They must have a hundred jiu-jitsu schools just in San Diego. Shit. It's crazy.